Fiona Ma has consistently proven herself to be an effective leader who prioritizes the needs of all Californians and values transparency and efficiency at all levels of government. California needs Fiona Ma's talents, smarts and guts in the office of state treasurer. Fiona Ma will lead with integrity, transparency and accountability. Her deep experience in local and state government, coupled with her broad finance background, makes her the best choice for state treasurer. California will be in good hands with Fiona Ma. On Monday, May 21st, several community leaders organized a community reception in support of Board of Equalization member and former California State Assembly Speaker Pro Tem Fiona Ma. The event was held at the Glen Arden Club in Glendale and the host committee included Chairman Steve Samuelian and committee members Anna Menigian, Harut Samerjian, Aras Parserian, Steve Bullock, Larry Cosmond, Sarin Abrahamian, among others. Elected officials in attendance included LA City Council member Paul Koretz, Glendale City Council member Paula Devine, LA Community College District Board members Mike Fung and Scott Svonking, and City of Southgate City Council member Denise Diaz. The Master of Ceremonies for the event was Steve Sonwellian. Welcoming remarks were provided by Anna Manigian and Aras Parserian. LA City Councilman Paul Koretz introduced Fiona Ma. Board of Equalization member Ma spoke to the audience about several issues facing our state. The event was a major success and was attended by more than 75 community leaders from across the LA region. International Families Association is a non-profit organization. Kazmakerpuțiun, vor tariner sharunak tsarayume inapas tsatser yekamut unetsog entanikneri. Yurakanchur yerku shapti yev chorek shapti orerin, kesorits heto jama yerkusits hinga tramadervume anvechar utelik yev aila prankner. Antunvume amen tesaki hovanavorutsun. Մանրամասների համար զանգահարել 8.8.770779 հերախոսը համարով։ Յուրաքանչյուրից ձևավորման վրա մեծ ազդեցություն ունի մեր ժառանգությունը, մեր ընտանիքը, մեր համայնքը։ Մենք իմաստավորում ենք կյանքը մեր ընկալումներով ու գործերով։ Գործեր, որ կապրեն դարեդար։ Մարդկային հիշողությունը իսկական պարգև է։ Ամեն մի կյանք ստեղծում է իր սեփական ուղին։ Գլենդել Ֆյունրալ Հոմ հաստատությունը պատրաստ է ցուցաբերել հատուկ ուշադրություն իր բազմազան ծառայությունների շնորհիվ։ Spring Beauty Event Saturday, May 12th. Preview the most exciting summer trends. Enjoy complimentary services all day and receive gifts. Your $25 reservation fee will be credited toward the beauty purchase of your choice. RSVP to 818-207-2211. Learn how to customize your own fragrance. Mark your calendar. Tom Ford Masterclass on June 9th with Caroline and Katrina. Every $100 you spend, you'll get $25 in rewards. Food, drinks and gifts await you. For appointments, call 818-207-2211. Fiona, I know that you have a very busy schedule and I would like to thank you for making time for this interview. Uh, as a former assembly member, uh, Fiona, you have authored uh, several groundbreaking laws. Why are you running for California State Treasurer? Yes, thank you. Um, I enjoyed myself uh, serving in the State Assembly where I passed 60 bills signed by two different governors under three speakers and during the Great Recession. And so one of the, um, you know, the issues that we faced was lack of funding. We always had a deficit. Uh, in my current position, I'm on the State Board of Equalization where I am the tax collector. And we are fortunate because the last 10 years, we have been doing pretty well uh, in terms of a surplus. But we know what goes up will go down. 
and I am uh, going to be preparing uh, for the recession, uh, making sure that California remains uh, fiscally sound, the fifth largest economy, and I am excited to bring my background as a CPA uh, with a master's in taxation and an MBA, as well as my working experience serving at the local level, state level, uh, bringing in taxes to this next job as state treasurer. Um, it is obviously a very important job. Um, I will be managing the state's uh, money, about $80 billion. I will also be overseeing many different important um, funds like uh, the retirement, the secured choice for people who don't have an employee um, uh, pension account. Uh, the scholar share for parents to save for their students, uh, affordable housing tax credits, so trying to build more affordable housing in all of our communities. And I will also be overseeing all of the bonds that are issued in California. So it is an important job. Um, most treasurers are very quiet and low key about the job, but I think given my background and the fact that I love California, I travel around to California, that I am going to be a very public uh, figure in uh, trying to uh, promote more businesses uh, to come to California. I want people to stay here. We want to make sure the education is the best that we can for families and especially small businesses. So that is my passion and background as a small business owner. Uh, as a CPA, I represented um, many small businesses uh, as the president of the Asian Business Association. So it is the backbone of our economy. I know in the Armenian community as well, there are many, many small business owners because that's kind of the entree uh, into uh, the United States. And I want to do what I can to uh, make sure we promote and grow our small businesses. Now with your impressive background, I'm sure you'll do a great job. Um, what is the best way to ensure an economic surplus in uh, the state of California? Yes. Well, I think I think, as we all know, uh, when people are working and they have good jobs and they're happy, they don't mind paying taxes. Uh, and so that is one of the keys here in California is that we are very dependent on income taxes, individual income tax, corporate income tax, and sales tax. So we need to make sure that we are keeping jobs here, that the stock market is hot because uh, capital gains, that people are able to you know, sell uh, their homes, uh, that home, home prices continue to go up. So all of that generates surpluses here for California. Fiona, what should California do to balance spending and revenues in the coming years? Yeah, that's a good question, Arsha. So uh, the fact that um, Governor Brown has done a really, really good job over the past 10 years in paying off our credit cards, um, putting money into the rainy day reserves, making sure that we are not overspending or committing to a program that we will not be able to pay for later on, I think is very, very important. So uh, I, as the state treasurer, will be working closely with the legislature to keep them um, up to date on where our finances are. If we are starting to hit a plateau or go into a downturn, I think legislators need to know uh, where we are and exactly. what they need to plan for. Uh, if elected, how would the Treasurer's Office uh, operate differently? Yeah, I, I think Treasurer John Chung has done a great job. Um, and the Treasurer before him, Bill Lockyer, and the Treasurer before him, Phil Angelides. Um, I think uh, being a woman uh, to the job with my background and experience and uh, my comfort uh, working with local and state govern government, I think I will be a lot more active in sponsoring bills. Uh, that come before the legislature, or maybe opposing bills um, that uh, perhaps are not going to be um, helpful or um, you know help our economy. So I think, uh, given my long uh, history uh, as an elected official, I like to meet constituents, do tours, have meetings, um, you know stakeholder meetings, let's come up with better ideas. If things aren't working right now, let's bring the diverse communities together, together. And, and come up with you know, the next great idea to, uh, to meet our needs during this time. So I look forward to working with every community, especially the Armenian community down here in the Los Angeles area, uh, to try to fix certain problems because 
things aren't working as we know all the time. And so what is it that we need to do to accommodate and to make uh, our communities feel safe, um, you know, grow in prosperity, uh, and also get involved in government, government. perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. What are the most important issues uh, of the Armenian American community of California and how do you plan on uh, addressing them? So I was um, very fortunate to work with uh, three prominent uh, members of the Armenian community, Kacho Asajian, Greg Agazarian, and Paul Krikorian. And each year we had a legislative advocacy day where we uh, supported a resolution um, recognizing the genocide, the 1.5 million Armenians who died. Uh, and it was important because we must never forget uh, the atrocities um, that happen. Um, it's important for human rights issues, it's important for uh, supporting the community, and also to recognize, and the fact that uh, the Turkish government uh, does not recognize the genocide is a fight that we have to continue uh, to raise the awareness. We also should be teaching uh, about the genocide in our school books. Um, I carried a resolution, um, I carried legislation uh, to support uh, recognizing the Filipino World War II veterans who fought side by side uh, with the Americans during World War II. Well, they had never been recognized. They were not even citizens. Uh, they never got a, a medal of honor or any sort of reparation. And so I carried that bill three times. Uh, Governor Brown finally signed it, and now it is going to be incorporated into our uh, curriculum books. And I think that also needs to be something that we, we strive for and fight for. Divesting from Turkey, uh, the Assembly Bill 1597, if I'm not mistaken, was introduced last year. It, it passed the State Assembly unanimously, and at some point it's going on to Senate. Right. Yes, so um, Adrien uh, Nazarian uh, is a sponsor of the bill, and when I was in the legislature, I was also a co-author of a bill to divest our CalPERS and CalSTRS funds from Iran, um, and it also uh, passed uh, both houses and was signed by Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, we were able to divest. So this is um, a similar uh, bill that is going through uh, both houses. I support it. Um, I'm going to see what I can do to help uh, Assemblymember Nazarian um, get the bill to the governor's desk. But I think bills like this uh, send a strong message um, to a you know government, to a country, uh, it shows also the support of the people uh, and the will of the state of California in terms of where we put our, num our, put our money and where we divest our money. So these bills are, are taken very, very seriously, and uh, I support the bill. Thank you. And uh, one more question. Um, I know you're from San Francisco, and uh, you have the cross. Yes. And you go there uh, every Easter? Every Easter. So um, the uh, Mount Davidson Cross has been around since 1923. Uh, it burned down four times because it was built out of wood. And then finally, the fifth time, they built a 103-foot uh, cross uh, in concrete. And it was uh, 1997. There was a proposition where the Council of Northern Armenian organizations wanted to buy the buy cross, cross for $26,000 and it passed and um, they were able to purchase it and there is now a plaque at the base uh, that recognizes the 1.5 million uh, Armenians who died during that genocide. Uh, it is also lit up every uh, April, April 24th, 24th uh, in commemoration with the genocide as well as on Easter Sunday. And so every Easter Sunday, I normally go up and participate in the non-denominational Easter Sunday uh, um, sunrise service. So it is a great uh, memorial and a tribute uh, to the Armenian American community and uh, very, very prominent in San Francisco that we all see. Fiona Ma has consistently proven herself to be an effective leader who prioritizes the needs of all Californians and values transparency and efficiency at all levels of government. California needs Fiona Ma's talents, smarts and guts in the office of state treasurer. 
Fiona Ma will lead with integrity, transparency and accountability. Her deep experience in local and state government coupled with her broad finance background makes her the best choice for state treasurer. California will be in good hands with Fiona Ma. Harut, I know that you are one of Fiona's many supporters. Why do you think that uh, she's the best choice? Thank you, Arsha Luis. Um, quite frankly, there's uh, a number of reasons for me to support Fiona Ma. Um, one, uh, and most importantly, I think, is she's the most qualified person. Uh, secondly, I think uh, for the Armenian American community, she is um, our preeminent choice because uh, I've personally met with Fiona on numerous occasions. I've seen her in action. She has been very sympathetic to Armenian causes. Um, I've seen how she votes for Armenian genocide resolutions when she was in the state assembly. Um, I have talked to her personally and um, she is a huge supporter of uh, the uh, Turkey divestment uh, initiative that's ongoing. Uh, she has been side by side with our community as we commemorate the Armenian genocide. So, um, and secondly, uh, I would say the other reason tied into our community is that as an immigrant uh, or, or, ch or um, a child of immigrants from China, uh, she knows full well um, what we as, as Armenian Americans go through because we share common values, we share common um, you know, uh, traditions. ethics, traditions. So um, I would say that she would be um, our, our, our number one choice. Steve, do you believe that Fiona is experienced and principled? Thank you, Arsha Lewis. Fiona definitely has the experience to be able to be California's next state treasurer. She's a CPA. She served in the state assembly. She's now currently on the board of equalization. She's a hard worker. She's been a very fierce fighter for Californians on many, many issues. Uh, she's been very supportive of the Armenian American community, which is important to me and I know important to many others. She has a very close relationship with the Armenian American community. I believe she's gonna do a fantastic job as California's next uh, treasurer. Fiona Ma has consistently proven herself to be an effective leader who prioritizes the needs of all Californians and values transparency and efficiency at all levels of government. California needs Fiona Ma's talents, smarts and guts in the office of state treasurer. Fiona Ma will lead with integrity, transparency and accountability. Her deep experience in local and state government coupled with her broad finance background makes her the best choice for state treasurer. California will be in good hands with Fiona Ma. International Families Association is a non-profit organization. Kazmakerpuțun vor tariner sharunak tsarayume inapas tsatser yekamut unetsog entanikneri. Yurakan Chur Yerku Shapti Yev Chorek Shapti Orerin, Kesurit Seto Jama Yerku Sitz Hinga, Drama Dervume, Anvejar Utelik, Yevaila Prankner. Antunvume Amente Sakihova Navorutsun. Mandra Masneri Hamar Zangaharel Utmeput, Yot Yot Zero, Zero Yot Yotanasun Inna, Herahosa Hamarov. Each of us is shaped by our heritage, our community, our family. In turn, we leave a lasting impression on those we've touched. That's what makes a life. That's what makes a legacy. Celebrate your life your way with Glendale Funeral Home. Customized services that honor your memory, created to fit you. Glendale Funeral Home, how do you want to be remembered? For 
advertising on Inside TV, please call 818-653-0199. Anna, why are you backing Fiona Ma? Thank you, Arsha Luis. Uh, Fiona Ma is a good friend of the Armenian community and I'm a huge supporter. Um, I think uh, she's absolutely qualified for the position and she's the best there is. Um, she's an advocate for equal rights. I'm on the board of the California Women's Law Center and that's a very important issue for me. She's also um, uh, an advocate for the rights of victims of domestic violence and many other issues. I believe she also co-authored uh, an Armenian genocide uh, resolution a couple of years ago, so she's uh, definitely looking out for the best interest of our community. Aras, I know for a fact that you are one of Fiona's biggest supporters. Absolutely, Asha Luis. Fiona is the perfect candidate for us because as Board of Equalization uh, Supervisor, she d did exactly what the community needed. And now as treasurer, she will be the great candidate where she's going to serve our community and where uh, the financial uh, backing of the California state is reliant on her. And uh, a successor of a great candidate of individual, she will definitely be the individual who will be the right ideal candidate and moving forward I'll be de definitely supporting her. We'll be in good hands. Absolutely, you definitely can bet on that. Before I call up our uh, honored guest Fiona this evening, there is an individual here that doesn't need an introduction because you recognize his name, you recognize his face, and you absolutely positively recognize the hard work uh, that he's put into those uh, Assemblyman, Councilman. I met Fiona when she was first running and the outgoing members of the state legislature, plus a few, um, interviewed some of the incoming challengers and I was so impressed with Fiona and uh, from there on, uh, you know, I wanted to see her career blossom and it has. She was a great assembly member, um, did some things that, that I particularly remember uh, relating to toy safety and toxic chemicals that were in toys um, and endangered the lives of, of children in our state. Uh, she did some great things on human trafficking. Um, and then she ran for the Board of Equalization and she has an incredible financial background, which of course was relevant to that. Uh, but she also has a good set of ethics and values and recognized a lot of things were going on at the Board of Equalization that needed reform. And if anyone gets the credit for reforming that organization and uh, changing their, their, their mission and uh, their duties, it's really Fiona. Um, and uh, I think that's a very positive thing for our state. And now we have a chance to elect her as state treasurer and have someone with incredible fiscal background do this job and incredible intelligence and hard work and she's the perfect person for it. So I thank you all for being here and let's all do whatever we can to make sure Fiona's our next state president. Some of you may wonder where I got my name, Fiona. Uh, my dad got a scholarship to the University of Glasgow. And so my mom also went, and that is where I was conceived. So that is how I got the name Fiona. But my mom said, I do not want to give birth in Glasgow. I'm going back to New York, come back. And so I was born in New York, uh, lived with my grandfather in Chinatown, my grandparents, for the first four years, because my parents were busy working. Uh, in Yonkers trying to save money so they would come and pick me up on the weekends uh, and then they finally saved enough money to buy their first home uh, in Great Neck, Long Island. And they picked Great Neck because it had an amazing school district uh, and as we all know, right, cost of education, if we can uh, have free education, uh, that's even better. So that's where I was born and raised. Uh, everybody was Jewish in my in my town. I thought I was Jewish growing up. 
Uh, and uh, it wasn't only until I moved to San Francisco that I was like, oh, there's Chinese people. <laughs> What's that like? Uh, I ended up going to the Rochester Institute of Technology because my parents uh, wanted me to be an accountant, either a lawyer, engineer, accountant, or a doctor. I was good at math, so my parents said, you should be an accountant. And the Rochester Institute of Technology was close enough to home that I didn't have to get on a plane and they could kind of uh, watch me in theory. Uh, so I, I went there for four years. Um, I did my first uh, internships with the Ernst & Winnie Department in Manhattan in the Trust and Estate Department. So after I graduated, I got offered a job, but by this time, my parents said, we're moving to San Francisco, join us. And so I had to start interviewing all over, and I uh, decided to stay with Ernst & uh, Winnie in the real estate uh, department. Spring Beauty Event. Saturday, May 12th. Preview the most exciting summer trends. Enjoy complimentary services all day and receive gifts. Your $25 reservation fee will be credited toward the beauty purchase of your choice. RSVP to 818-207-2211. Learn how to customize your own fragrance. Mark your calendar. Tom Ford Masterclass on June 9th with Caroline and Katrina. Every $100 you spend, you'll get $25 in rewards. Food, drinks and gifts await you. For appointments, call 818-207-2211. International Families Association is a non-profit organization. Kazmakerpucun, որ տարիներ շարունակ ծարայում է ինպաս ցածր եկամուտ ունեցող ընտանիքների։ Յուրաքանչյուր չուր երկու շապտի եւ չորեք շապտի օրերին, կեսորից հետո ժամը 2-ից 5-ը տրամադրվում է անվճար ուտելիկ եւ այլ ապրանքներ։ Ընդունվում է ամեն տեսակի հովանավորություն։ Մանրամասների համար զանգահարել 8187070779 հերախոսը համարով։ Յուրաքանչյուրի ձևավորման վրա մեծ ազդեցություն ունի մեր ժառանգությունը, մեր ընտանիքը, մեր համայնքը։ Մենք իմաստավորում ենք կյանքը մեր ընկալումներով ու գործերով։ Գործեր, որ կապրեն դարեդար։ Մարդկային հիշողությունը իսկական պարքև է։ Ամեն մի կյանք ստեղծում է իր սեփական ուղին։ Glendale Funeral Home հաստատությունը պատրաստ է ցուցաբերել հատուկ ուշադրություն իր բազմազան ծառայությունների շնորհիվ։ For advertising on Inside TV Please call 818-653-0199.